or what was what come on <laughs> good morning everybody good morning okay I've got I've got puppies going crazy here good morning it is Friday it's about 7 30 and uh, I'm up showered ready to go got to um, get to the bins it's about a 12 minute drive from here see what I can find this morning and then I got to be back here uh, before 10 o'clock um, because we found out from our HOA that we need to take our Christmas lights down guys we tried to get away with it we have our ice school lights up on the house we don't have them turned on uh, but we were gonna see if we could get away with it and we didn't even make it to July which is a bummer but we have neighbors across the street who have had their Christmas lights on like literally turned on for the entire time that we've been living here, which is over a year. Maybe I'll show you at the end of this video when it's dark outside. And they don't look good, okay? But I'm guessing that the enforcement people don't, uh, don't go check at nighttime. But we figured since those hideous lights were up year round, our unlit icicle lights could make it. We were hoping we wouldn't have to get up, get up there and get them down. Not that we're gonna do that, no. We've got Batman coming, Angel's gonna come, he's the one that actually put them up for us and he's gonna help me to get those down, so I'm gonna be able to get a little footage of that. But anyway, we're on day two, and uh, this is Friday, day two, at least 10 items, um, and to get them all photographed, uh, sourced, photographed, and listed, all in the same day. I'm a little tired, guys. I'm a little tired, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but as soon as I get back, I'm gonna work on the lights with Angel, then I gotta do all the shipping for myself, and Vicki, I've got like, I've only got like four or five things, uh, Vicky says she's got a bunch. I haven't even looked yet. I don't want to, but uh, it's gonna be quite the day. I don't know what is happening over here. We've got Ripley attempting to play with Grizz. Grizz, that's her sort of into it. That's not her mad reaction. That's her, I'm sort of into this. <laughs> and Luna wants no part of any of this. Right, Luna? Yes. All right, let's get this day started. Just got out of the bins. It is 10.02. Um, I got 11 things this time. Um, I was actually a little worried about getting to 10. I wanted to leave by 9.30, and then I could have left probably 15 minutes ago, but they had another rotation that was coming out, and I'm just like, ah, I'm just gonna stick around. And then I found nothing from that rotation. Um, but Angel's supposed to be at my house, it's 10.30, 11, so I'm gonna go get some Dutch Bros. And then in a little bit, I will show you guys what I was able to pick up here. It's now 11.30. Uh, I just finished ending all of um, Vicky's items on different platforms from the stuff that she sold and printed out packing slips. She's got three eBay, two Etsy, one Macari, three Poshmark. And so I'm gonna start working on pulling those and just waiting for Angel but he's doing what resellers do. He saw a yard sale sign and he had to go check it out. As Vicki and I call that, we call it freestyling. When you don't have an address you're going to, you just see a sign, you swerve off the road. So when he gets there, hopefully he got something and we can see what he got. He can share it with us and hopefully it's something good. Or maybe he didn't find anything, I don't know. Yeah, I got these, uh, what I'm trying to do is trying to find like all the 80s stuff, like the 80s movies, you know, Sweet 16, or 16 Candles. Um, this guy had some pretty cool stuff. So nothing for resale. Nothing for resale, no. But all the movies that, that you want uh, your daughter to see that she hasn't seen, so this is how you force her. Kingpin. Good one, good movie. one. This is Doubtfire. Great freaking movie. This one's uh, all the Fridays if you're into that. Um, Hook, I don't know if you've ever seen that. Love it. Great actors on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite. Did you ever seen Ratatouille? I love, no, she hasn't seen Ratatouille. I'm pretty sure that's child abuse. I love Ratatouille. Um, Little Man, that's a funny, funny movie. Ridiculous. I love that one. Yeah, unrated. And then, uh, of course, one of my favorites. I kept that one for me. Very nice, very and nice. And I got these really cool pins. They're from 1993. Nice. And then, I don't know what this one is, but it's also a 1993. Huh. That might be a, 
Like a comic book thing? Comic book thing. But if, if I'm right, if this this is one of the Jason moves, I was gonna give that, oh! Ooh. No! I was gonna give that one to you, because I'm a big Jason fan. Hell yeah! All right, so the real reason that Angel is here, as I told you guys, oh, sometimes you just need Batman to save you, <laughs> and he's here to get these lights down. We tried to get away with it, because that house right over there, I'm gonna show them tonight because yeah. they have their lights on. The Christmas lights have been on right. since we moved in in April of last year. Right. And they look terrible. They're not even like well put up. They're just like awful. Right. And I'm like, so we thought, well, we can totally get away with it. Nope. So we almost made it to July, but almost. not quite. Almost. All right. As you can see, Angel is a total professional at what he does here. Professional installer. Installer. And uh, he has all of the proper OSHA approved Absolutely. equipment yeah. needed for this kind of a job. Safety, safety is the most important thing. Because uh, you know, this is how you do it. We did it everybody. Well, Angel did it. I supervised. Great supervisor. <laughs> It's now about one o'clock. I've got all of Vicky's orders pulled and I gotta ship them. And then I gotta do mine as well so that I can get to work on today's haul and listings. Everything is all packed up and ready to go in our super gay Ikea rainbow tote. And of course it's a bazillion degrees outside. So I got an ice cold diet Coke in there for our male lady cause she's awesome and she deserves it. All right, next up, we'll do a haul. Day two, bins haul. Okay, today I did, I got 12 and a half pounds, and that's $1.89 a pound. So no tax because it's a nonprofit. So $23.63 is what I paid today. And I got 11 items, again, some a little bit heavier stuff. So average price, um, about $2 a piece. Uh, so let's get started. This was, I think, the last thing I grabbed, and it was just kind of a bonus thing. I've been doing so well with the totes. Um, in fact, I actually sold the uh, tote bag from yesterday. They haven't paid yet, uh, but it was an international order, so hopefully they're gonna pay, and I can um, show that sale. But uh, this one, I mean, I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's a really nice, heavy canvas bag, and it's for Catalina Island. And I think it, it's pretty cool looking. So, I mean, this doesn't even weigh a pound, so. Um, I'd say, you know, paying a dollar for that, even if I can sell it for 20 bucks. And I think it looks pretty cool. And these are super easy to photograph and list. <clears throat> it doesn't take much at all. Next up, uh, man, I keep getting so many like kind of heavy clothing items, jackets, sweaters, sweatshirts. But I guess, you know, it's, it's hot here, it's summertime, so people are cleaning out their winter wear. Um, it is what it is. So next up I have this sweater that I think is awesome. It's got deer or reindeer if you will on it great uh pattern and this is straw bridge straw bridge and oh i see straw bridge clothier the men's store made in taiwan see that right there i've never heard of this brand but it doesn't really matter it's more about the pattern and the fact that it's vintage um so i love it I mean, this, I'll probably list it for like 70. And by the way, somebody commented on my video from yesterday that they're really shocked, you know, how much I can get for my 90s clothing. And, um, you know, when I'm saying prices, I mean, yeah, I'd love to get those prices, and a lot of times I do, but I also price my stuff to uh, be able to give aggressive offers. So if I price something at $70, a lot of times I'm making offers right away once I get followers um, on an item, like on eBay, I'm making offers for like 50 bucks. So. I'm not necessarily gonna get the top price that I listed at, I'm just gonna list it at that and then give aggressive discounts. So that I might put it for 70 or I put it for 100, but I might end up selling it for 50. All right, next up, I have this Nike hoodie. You can see the graphic there on the front, Nike hoodie. Uh, this is the tag right here. And this tag is you know, you could probably call that, I think you can call that vintage Y2K. Um, this is definitely the 2000s tag after the uh, kind of white and red tag. It was the late 90s. 
Um, but I've been doing well on these like basic hoodies like Adidas, Nike, stuff like that. So definitely worth picking up for a couple of bucks. Next up, I was having a hard time getting 10 pieces today. Um, so some stuff isn't necessarily something I would have wanted to pick up, uh, but I it was in a time crunch. I needed, I couldn't just stay until I got my 10 items um, as long as I wanted to because I needed to get back to meet Crystal. Or not Crystal, Angel. So this is kind of a heavy um, hoodie, but this is Bruise Softball. And at the back it says Fall Coed League 2003 Champions. So this is like a very specific, um, you know, from a very specific event, very specific team. It is vintage being 2003. It's a really nice hoodie. Um, it is heavier. So, you know, I paid a couple bucks for uh, probably like three, four bucks for it from the Lee tag. Um, so I don't know, you know, it's, and it's plus it's going to cost like at least 830 uh, to ship it. Cause I'll put this in a padded uh, flat rate mailer. Um, but I needed to get something and it was nice and you never know somebody who likes softball might really want this somebody who actually was on this team might find it online who knows maybe i can sell it for 50 bucks i don't know about that but maybe 40. next up i've got another pair of 501s levi's um, they're in really good shape they are 38 32. these ones are made in mexico so they're probably um, I always have to figure out like, you know, when it's actually from, these could be late nineties, uh, early two thousands, but they're in really good shape. They're a good size, a good basic size. Um, so five oh ones, you can never really go wrong with those. You should be able to always sell them for if they're vintage, like 50 bucks at least. I actually have a couple of t-shirts first up. Here's another one that's really specific but this is the senior class of Boulder City High School, but it's 1995, so kind of cool. Um, again, who knows if I can sell this or how long it'll take to sell this. Like I said, it's a very specific year, uh, but maybe there's somebody out there who collects these, so maybe I can still get like 30 bucks for it. We'll see. This is on this Greystone graphics tag. I've never seen this particular tag before, uh, but of course, this is from the 90s, since that's when this t-shirt is from, which is a great way to learn your tags. Next up, and maybe somebody out there watching this can help me with this. Um, I don't know anything about L Lamasini, Lamasini jeans. Lamasini jeans. It's the back. And this is the front. It's got a lion on it. And it has uh, this... All style apparel tag. This is like a late 90s tag. Close there. Um, you can see it's made in Mexico with fabric that's actually made, assembled in Mexico, fabric made in the US. So this is probably like late 90s. It is double stitch. Um, I don't know if that's like a luxury brand of jeans or if it's just kind of a weird, you know, whatever. I've never heard of them. Uh, but I always grab stuff like this because you never know. Uh, sometimes it'll, especially if it ends up being like a luxury brand or something, um, somebody wouldn't want to buy that up. This is a polo shirt. Probably not going to sell this for more than like 30 bucks, maybe even 25. It says Perump Valley Rock Hounds. It's embroidered right there and this is on jersey's tag this is probably like y2k um so yeah not going to be a huge money maker but there's going to be somebody who's i mean i'm assuming this is somebody who likes to like collect rocks is into what is it geology is that what it is so next up I don't know how well, uh, you know, Tommy jeans There's some brands like from the nineties that were like super hot, probably like four or five years ago, um, like Tommy or Nautica. And at one point they like took, they brought in a lot of money. Like you could sell them for pretty high prices. Um, that's definitely slowed down. But at the same time, I feel like the cycle of what's popular has gotten shorter and shorter. And so there's a lot of like Y2K stuff that's, that's coming back. And stuff that was super popular like 10 years ago is now becoming popular again. Um, it just seems like it's a shorter window or a shorter cycle. 
Uh, and so like right now, like wide leg jeans are coming back in again. And so these are Tommy jeans. You can see that's a 90s tag right there, Tommy jeans. And see if I can get that to focus. There you go. And this doesn't have the big flag on the back, but it does have, right here it says Tommy jeans. And these are nicely worn and they are nice relaxed fit, somewhat wide leg jeans. Uh, so definitely worth picking up for a couple of bucks and i mean i haven't comped like to what tommy jeans are doing right now but i feel like i should be able to at least get like 50 bucks for them so definitely a good pickup i think i just have a couple things left all right so this is actually a really cool shirt uh, at the bins they have like um, one big row that's just all clothes one big row that's all hard goods they have like a section that's just shoes, a section that's like books and media, like you know tapes and, and movies and stuff like that. And then they have a section that's just linens. Now the linens is kind of a mixture of, I mean, you'll see backpacks in there and blankets and sheets and quilts and uh, pillows, um, but you'll also see like bags and kind of some stuff that's kind of like hard goods. Um, and so I'll go look in there because you can also find hats and sometimes you'll find clothes because they're kind of a mess and they pile them so high sometimes some really cool stuff can kind of get hidden down below so i'm always like trying to when once i get through like looking at clothes i'll go in there and dig a little bit deeper and so uh this one had been out already for quite a while and uh, they were already taking everything away there were only a few of the bins that were sitting out and so i was just kind of bored waiting and so i thought i'd dig a little bit deeper into another one and i grabbed this shirt and first of all it's got this Hanes tag right here, which is a late 90s, early 2000s tag. So I saw that tag first and I was like, oh, I hope it's actually a good graphic. Cause sometimes you'll see like a good tag and then you'll pull the shirt out and it either has nothing on it or it has something really boring or stupid or whatever. Um, and then I saw the back and I was like, ooh, what is this? And uh, it is Silver State BMX, BMX guys. So I was super stoked about this. And then I turned it around and it says 2000 Nevada State Championship. So this is a super cool BMX t-shirt. You know, not that it's gonna be worth a bazillion dollars, but I should be able to get like 50, 40, 50 bucks for it. Um, and it was just cool because it had been sitting out there for probably a good hour at least and nobody had seen it um, kind of hidden underneath. All right, last piece. Again, I was talking about the brands uh, that used to be super, super hot. And um, so there was a new rotation coming out of the clothes. All the guys, you know, it's like everybody's like getting ready to like go pounce on the bins. And we're supposed to stand behind this red line and they're always yelling at people, but nobody listens. And so a lot of times they're like kind of poking around and looking in the bins um, and trying to see if they can see something or they'll even grab it before they're supposed to. And so uh, when I, ran over there it was like just as they like released us it was like the second bin in i saw this kind of yellow poking out and um i grabbed this it is a nautica now had i found this like in 2017 this would be like 150 bucks um it's definitely not going to sell for that now okay you can see the lowercase nautica that is 90s uh, vintage nautica and this is a really cool sailing jacket it's in great condition yellow it's got the spell out on the side the nautica challenge um, it's got this embroidered on this side the class j class 1990 whoops 1930 to 1937 um, just a really cool embroidery this one does not have the embroidery on the back um, now a lot of these nautica jackets they kind of reprinted uh, redid like cheaper versions of like um uh, more like windbreakers see this is like cotton this isn't like a nylon um and they had them like i had bought some at like marshall's and stuff like that so um i don't know how much this will go for it does like i said it doesn't have the the big back embroidery which was really cool like when i would find something like that the bins i'd be super excited but this is in fantastic condition i don't see any marks any staining on it um i whoever had it didn't wear it much um so you know, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably price it at like a hundred and, and see if I can sell it for 75. I don't know if I can get that much. I'm gonna have to go and look at comps again, but I was so excited that I grabbed this and I found it. Um, it's always fun when you, you beat the, the bros to it. It's got the roll up hood in the collar. Um, again, like I said, when you see the lowercase Nautica, that is the nineties, the, uh, the newer um, 
the newer logo, it's all capital letters. So hopefully, I'd say this is my most fun score of the day other than the BMX t-shirt, uh, both yellow, so, hmm. But um, yeah, let's go ahead. I don't think, I don't know that I have to wash anything. I mean, sometimes I like to wash, generally when I'm like doing a lot of stuff, um, I'm not usually doing it in groups of like 10 items. And so if I have a lot of stuff for the most part, unless it looks like it's dead stock, I usually wash everything uh, with this. Like I don't really want to run loads of laundry for like two or three things and plus it's super time consuming. So as long as something looks like it's clean and doesn't have any marks and doesn't need to be laundered, I'm probably not going to wash these. Um, like I said, this is, I mean, it doesn't have any dirt on it or anything like that. So. I'm hoping I can get away with not doing any laundry or maybe just washing a couple of the items uh, so I can get these ready to go and actually be done a lot earlier today. It right now is a little after two, so I'm just gonna take these upstairs and see what I need to do and hang up the stuff and get it ready to photograph and then I'm gonna eat some lunch because man, I'm hungry. And it is 4.30, I've got all my pictures done, all my measurements done. And now I'm gonna to get to listing. Yesterday I was at this point at seven o'clock. So I'm definitely ahead of schedule. Of course I've been doing the other things throughout the day. I had to go do some other work. I had to do some Boss Reseller Remix stuff. Um, but it shouldn't take me more than a little, probably a little over an hour to get all of these listed. And then I gotta make the video and everything. But hopefully it won't be as late as it was yesterday. And I've done it again. This time, 11 new listings. Everything is up. Hoo-wee, it is 7.30. So I think last night um, when I finished listing, it was nine o'clock. So about an hour and a half ahead of yesterday. But I was like two and a half, three hours ahead of yesterday, but I had a lot of um, interruptions, was talking on the phone with my sister for a while, uh, but did a little bit better as far as timing, even though there was a lot going on today. So. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to do uh, the bins again, first thing in the morning, but this time we should have some special guests, Angel and Crystal, and uh, they're gonna join me hopefully tomorrow at the bins. And so we'll be able to see what they get uh, when we're there. Ooh, good night. I had to wait for it to get a little darker so I could finish up this video because I had to show you guys. This is what we're dealing with here. I don't know what's happening, but that is how it has been for over a year. <laughs> so maybe now you know what I'm talking about. And there's still, there's even more over here you can't see because of our tree. Ridiculous.